My name is Linda Fairstein. My latest novel is Lethal Legacy. I decided to set it here at New York's great public library, a place that I think is the most important cultural institution of the city, both in terms of what its history is, but also the remarkable array of treasures that are stored inside, some of them enough to kill for. The protagonist in my novels is a young prosecutor herself named Alexandra Cooper. She finds the young conservator who's been killed and it all comes back to the library. We're now standing in Astor Hall. When anybody comes to visit the New York Public Library, you enter through the front steps and immediately you're put into this stunning space and Mike Chapman of course comes here the detective working with Alex Cooper enters he knows he's coming to the public library looks around this great space and wants to know why he sees no books so part of the story involves finding out what this library does that's different from your local lending library and understanding a little bit about its history this is the wonderful Rose Reading Room of the New York Public Library. It's just been restored to all of its grandeur. It's one of the most interesting interior spaces in New York City because it's two blocks long. It's almost the size of a football field, all marble and, and wood panel with coffered ceilings and these beautiful murals. This room plays a very central role in Lethal Legacy. I won't tell you where, but in a secret recess in this room, Mike Chapman makes a very significant discovery that he thinks hold a clue to the killer of the young librarian. Now we're in the Barbara Goldsmith Conservation Lab. This is such an important part of the library. It was originally the bindery when the library opened in 1911. And now all of the rare, fragile materials in the library are restored and healed and maintained here. But what fascinated me when I first came here were the very deadly assortment of tools that these brilliant young conservators use every day. And of course, the crime novelist in me was all the time thinking of the very deadly purpose to which these tools could be put. We're now in one of my favorite rooms of the New York Public Library. It's the map division. A lot of action in Lethal Legacy comes back to this room. Alex and Mike spend time in the map division and it actually provides them with very significant clues to where stolen property was taken from, why it had been concealed in such a place, and how historically you can chart the geography of a city by the map collection in a good library. For me to get inside this institution, to peel back the layers, to be allowed to come in and hold and look at some of the treasures that are here. Part of the thrill of being able to do this book is to tell the story, but to enrich the reader with all of the things that I learned about the library while I was studying here.